Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. This time we're going to look at some 3 and 3 quarter inch figures um, from the Force Awakens and a couple from Rebels that are included in the assortments. Um, I'm calling this Wave 3 um, of the Force Awakens lot, and I'm going to do this video in two lots. And I'm going to start off with the three figures from the Jungle Assortment, because it's all part of the Builder figure, um, sorry, Builder weapon. So I'm going to go with Jungle and Space being these three here on the right. And the next video, we'll take a look at the uh, snow figures from the th uh, snow part and the desert part. So, so these three have been these ones have been reasonably easy to find. I know the ray has been pretty well sought after and picked over pretty quickly. Um, there's still a few Hans around, and this guy's reasonably easy to find. And then any, any Aussie friends, these three are particularly easy to find in Woolworth supermarkets. So. Go and have a look if you haven't found them already. So I'm just going to give a quick look at all these figures uh, one by one. So here's Han Solo. Great to finally have this one. They're all five points of articulation, but the detail's quite nice. Um, I was lucky to get a good Han Solo because I've seen a couple with... Um, the uh, paint on the face has been really, really crap. Um, so I was lucky to be able to be able to um, have a bit of a choice there and pick pick out a good one that I really liked. Um, I haven't. I've chucked out all the little build weapon pieces. That's all rubbish to me. Um, oh, some of them I've kept just because I might use them as just junk in dioramas or something if I ever get back into doing that. So I have sort of kept them. So that's Han Solo. Oh, look at Ray in her resistance outfit. I can't wait for him to do a six inch version of this. This is great. Um, she doesn't come with her staff. She just comes with a lit lightsaber and the pistol there in her holster, which is which is come, comes out. It's a working holster. I just gave her this staff because I have her um, other outfit holding a lightsaber at the moment. So I decided to give her just the lightsaber hilt, which she comes with. I think, I can't remember. Maybe she just comes with a lit lightsaber. It's a really nice outfit and really nicely done figure. I think it looks great. Um, again, I, I hope they do a six inch version of Ray in this outfit. I think it's really nicely done. It's a really great outfit. And I can't, I still can't get over my crush I have on, on Daisy Ridley. <laughs> no surprises to anyone there. But really happy to have that figure. And then we look at Hask Thug to round out the uh, jungle wave. Or the jungle segment of wave three. Now there's three of these guys in Maz's castle. Um, they all look a little bit different. And I was going to get three of them and just you know mess around with them. But I'm sure we'll get them at some stage. But um, Or if I find them cheap enough maybe I'll just pick up another two. But this is a cool looking alien. I like it a lot. I think he's cool. And he's got like a little knife pouch, which is just painted the same colour as his fur. It's a little bit odd. And he's carrying the same weapon as the uh, Guavian, Guavian Enforcer. But that's okay. He's a cool looking, he's a cool looking alien. I like him a lot. So that rounds out the jungle um, part of the wave. Now we'll take a look at the figures from the space wave. Now this is probably one of my favourites, Admiral Akbar. Really nicely detailed. I, like, I really like his new costume. I think it looks great. Um, we will know him in the white from Return of the Jedi for so long. It's nice to see him uh, refreshed and in something different. As he comes with this blaster. Not that he has one in the in the uh, movie, but they've all got to come with a weapon. <laughs> the cool thing about this figure is the added articulation put to his head, so he can open his mouth. Which is great, but overall the detail is really nice. The paint sculpt, paintwork is incredible, um, and despite the lack of articulation, really, really impressed with this guy. Um, they look, they just all look great um, together on the shelf. So, and his weapon doesn't want to stay in his hand, so that'll do for now. Next one we've got. Is Tasu Leech from Kanji Club. This is only a little figure for comparing to Han. He's only a short little fella. 
But another cool figure. I hope we get the rest of the Kanji Club. Because um, there's some interesting looking guys. They've got some cool weapons. If you look through the um, visual guide, they've got some really, really cool weapons. Um, and interesting backgrounds as well. So this is a cool, cool figure. I really like the weapon, despite the lack of uh, paint detail on it. Looks interesting. I like it a lot. Then they've done a pretty good job on this guy as well. I like it. Again, I hope we get some more of the um, more of the Kanji Club and the leader of the uh, Guavian Death Gang, uh, Balatik. So that'll be cool. <coughs> And to round out the wave, the uh, wave of space from the three space log, we've got one from uh, Star Wars Rebels and the fifth brother, Inquisitor. This guy's really cool. I can't wait to get the uh, seventh sister as well. This guy's pretty tough. Didn't last long, but spoiler alert. Sorry. <laughs> no, he's a, he's a cool, cool dude. Um... Based on concept art for the uh, Jedi Killer, or what became Kylo Ren. So he's sort of part of the uh, scrap pile from Force Awakens. So they used him in Rebels and it turned out quite cool. This guy was pretty tough. Really nice. He's got the Imperial Cogner on his shoulders. And I like the really like, ornate sort of design there on, on his um, stomach armor there. He's pretty cool. I like him. Anyway, guys, that rounds out those six figures. Um, next video I'll put up, like I said, will be the other six figures from what I'm calling Wave 3. I don't know if it is Wave 3, but um, from the next assortment being uh, Snow and Desert. So we'll have a look at them next. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next video. See you guys.